Seattle Hemp Fest, and we are live, day three, and the accused just rocked the main stage. And I'm sitting here right now, Tommy Niemeyer from the accused, Kevin Lee Singer, and uh, guys, you guys just rocked the main stage. I mean, what do you think about coming to Hemp Fest now that you've been here? Like, you were 10 years ago? What do you think yeah, now? Yeah, 10 years ago, yeah, I was here with Grunt Truck. But, uh, it, dude, this is, it's gotten, it's, it's gotten, it's gotten awesome. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's, you know, it thir I mean, 30 years as a band and 20 years with for Hemp Fest. Yeah. Know? Well, you guys, you know, I know you guys have been, you've been rocking since like 1981. You've yeah. been doing all this stuff, yeah. splatter rock, all this stuff. I mean, punk rock, thrash. I mean, have you ever seen a correlation between cannabis and our music, or is it uh, been well, kind of separated? There's been a little, a little bit of a relationship, shall we say? At fests like this, have you played Hemp Fest? Do you do events like this, or is this different? Yeah, yeah. Out, well, outdoor stuff to begin with is, is real different, and open air festival stuff is, is a little different for us. Um, but you know, the cause is a, a no-brainer. No I mean, we you know we totally support everything about it. You know. Well, you guys are from Seattle, right? I mean, yeah. so you've kind of seen you've been out here on the West Coast. It's been a little bit different now. You know, it's cannabis is becoming a little bit more free. Do you feel that way too? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And, and uh, to come, like I've been in a few of these, you know, throughout the years. So to watch it grow exponentially. And, and people actually turning, you know, turning out to these events to support something like this. I mean, honestly, why are we going to jail for something as silly as this? That's right. That's it's right. Not like we're a bunch of meth addicts, or you know, we're just running around doing a bunch of crazy drugs. You smoke pot. You know, you eat food, you fall asleep. That's What's right. The last time you ever heard of a, a pot smoker running over a kid because he smoked too much pot before he got in the car? Yeah, that's exactly right. We're just trying to promote pot, a little bit of weed. We're on Normal Show Live right now. We're sitting here with the accused. They just played main stage. Four o'clock, and they were actually on at 4:20. What do you guys think about having that 4:20 slot? That's prime time, buddy. Ju Julian, thank you. Yeah, they, they, I thought that was a great time for you guys to really do this, man. That was fun. Yeah, that when I when I well, it was it was, it was, the, it was the biggest, most important, coolest show the accused has ever played. Oh, that's outstanding. That is outstanding. Period. Straight up, Be between the cause, the city that we're in, you know, the 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 anniversary thing, the reaction. It, this was by far the best thing we've ever done. You know, it was it was the coolest thing we've ever done. That's amazing. Yeah, tell tell our normal uh, audience about like the accused. I mean, you've been around for so long. Tell about Splatter Rock and what you guys have been doing all these years. We're was, watching horror movies. There you, you go. Know, watching horror movies and having having a you know having a smoke here and there and. You know, a couple beers and and, and rocking out. And you've yeah. done your art before too. You know, you've done yeah. also pencil art, your art, Martha Splatter Rocks. You came up with that, yeah. and so it's all been a, just a huge machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just it's you know it's stimulation and motivation and inspiration on the you know the most extreme level we can ever find. You know, we we can't get enough of any of it. So That's we just incorporate all of it. So what's kind of the future for the accused? Are you guys working on new things? Are you guys just kind of out supporting your cause? Or what's yeah. going on? We got, a, we got, we're working on new material right now for a new record, um, probably out, you know, first of the year, something like that. Um, that is outstanding. Just going to continue doing what we do, and, and uh, you know, pe hopefully people keep keep digging it, you know, because we keep we keep we keep feeding it to them, and they keep eating it. So we're we're, you know, they're hungry. We're ready to give it. You know, we, we do what we do, and then and, and we're hoping for another 30 years. Yep, so you guys are going to be out there playing different cities, touring. So you guys out there at different cities, look for the accused and go out there and see them. Yep. So do you guys have a website, Facebook? Oh, yeah, uh, what do you guys absolutely. got? Tell, Give our uh, yeah. listeners the... Facebook, Reverb Nation, MySpace, you go you got, you, com. Yeah, you can get, catch all of those links at www.splatterrock. Com. Right on, yeah. right on. Yeah, you guys really go out there. We're going to have these guys on a normal show live's rocking Friday here sometime here soon. And they're here for you live right now. And they've played the Seattle Hemp Fest. And, dude, I mean, we just really appreciate you guys doing events like this. I mean, we don't get a lot of, you know, bands, you know, metal, rock. Yeah. It's a different tune, you know. Yeah. And uh, we just appreciate you guys' support to coming out here. I know you guys aren't getting paid. And you guys are doing this on your own. So, yeah. man, just supporting the causes like this. Absolutely, dude. You know? No, we're so close. We're so close here. With Seattle, with Seattle bringing the message to the world about the status of, of what marijuana should be in, in America. We're so close. Let's push it. Let's push it over the top. And the awareness that this brings to it is huge. And it's serious. We're serious. This needs to happen. It, it's, it's, at this point, it's a no-brainer. If it doesn't happen, we're the stupidest country in the fucking world. That's right, Tommy. It takes all of us, guys. So you guys, little Tommy, I mean, he's just, you know, he's not only a freaking rock star, dude. He's got common sense. Come on, he's talking sense here. Damn, you know? And that's, that's a great place and shit, but it's 
doesn't rock like Seattle rocks. That's right. You know, so let's prove that we're not only, you know, the rockin'est fucking place, but we're the smartest fucking place. No, that's right. Seattle you does know. have its own flavor. So have you guys played in Amsterdam before? you just oh, yeah. been there and smoked, yeah, you know, yeah. boats, Absolutely. just kind of hang out? Absolutely. It's cool. It's cool. But they're... They're just a little too mellow for us. See? They, nobody, they don't rock like Seattle rock. Right you know? on, right on. So let's get this shit done with. You know? No, you are. You're total mainstay of Seattle, man. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys giving normal show live some time. Appreciate supporting the cause and supporting normal and high times and everyone else that's out there, man. Right on. The accused guys, please support them out there. Check them out. It's day three, Seattle Hemp Fest. Right on. I love it. Thank you, brother. Right on. Yeah!